The Circle tool allows you to quickly create an accurate circle, something that can be exceedingly difficult to draw freehand, via a number of different modes that are all useful in certain situations. Most of the time, you'll know exactly what size and location you want for your circle, so you would use one of the first two modes. However, there are situations where you would want to create a circle based upon existing geometry, where the later modes will come in handy. The first and most commonly used mode, Circle by Radius, involves two clicks. The first click sets the center point of the circle. The second click sets the length of the radius. You can either draw this manually, or, if you know the radius of the circle you want to create, press the Tab key on the keyboard, and then enter the desired length. After pressing Enter, you'll then be able to set the direction of the radius from the center point, but the length will already be set. The second mode allows you to draw a circle by its diameter. The first click will set one side of the circle. The second click will set both the orientation of the circle as well as the length of its diameter. The third mode, Circle by Three Points, lets you click any three points and will create a circle that intersects these three points along its circumference. The orientation of the circle will be determined by the points themselves as you click them. Circle by three lines is the fourth mode of this tool. It allows you to click on three lines or linear segments and will create the circle in the space between all of them. This is very similar to the previous mode, but allows only for the selecting of existing geometry. You cannot pick points in empty space. This mode is useful for drawing a circle in the space between multiple objects, where the dimensions are unknown. The fifth mode is point and center. This is the opposite of radius mode, in that the first click sets a point along the circumference, and the second point sets the location of the center of the circle. You are still setting the circle's radius, but drawing from the edge inward instead of from the center outward. The final mode for the circle tool Circle by Tangent and Center allows you to create a circle that is either tangent to the existing geometry or a freely drawn line. The first and second clicks set the line that the circle will be drawn tangent to. The second click is also the tangent point on the circle's edge itself. The third point will set the distance of the radius from the tangent point. Moving to either side of the first drawn line in this mode, will determine which way the circle is drawn off of it. The last button in the toolbar controls whether or not upon creation of the circle, the push-pull tool will be temporarily activated. This temporary mode only appears in 3D views and allows you to create an extrude from your just-drawn circle by clicking on its face, then setting the extrusion height. While seemingly a very basic object, the circle tool is used in nearly every design discipline to varying degrees. Being familiar with each of the tool's modes will make your initial drafting that much easier.